Well, good morning, Arkansas. Well, it's actually lunchtime now. Um, this is Chief Forecast. Coming back here once again, here to give you guys a quick weather video regarding what's going on right now and what to expect as we get into the afternoon hours at this point. Okay, so I want to break down a few things before I go over radar because there's a lot of things I'm going to talk to you guys about um, regarding this. Number one, we are not expecting widespread severe weather today. Okay, this is not going to be a tornado outbreak. This is not going to be a severe weather outbreak. Some people may not even see a storm today. Some people may not even see rainfall. There's going to be areas that see the severe storms. There's going to be areas that don't. So I don't want to hear anyone calling this out, saying we're hyping this up or anything like that, which we're not. Not everyone is going to see storms today. Okay, so I want to make that perfectly clear for those that are listening to this video. Number two. When these storms come today, it's going to be more of a damaging wind and hail threat. We've had a lot of people ask about the tornado threat. I don't want you guys ignoring the wind and hail threat, okay? Just because a storm doesn't have a tornadic characteristic with it doesn't mean it's, you know, you should just ignore it and anything like that. Some of these storms are going to be capable of producing 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. Some of them will be capable of producing significant hail, especially after towards uh, western Arkansas. We're going to talk about that coming up in a little bit. So, you get under a severe thunderstorm warning today. Don't ignore it because it's not a tornado warning or it doesn't have any kind of tornado warning on it. Make sure that you're seeking shelter. A lot of people are going to have outdoor plans and stuff like that this afternoon, this evening. If you get under a severe thunderstorm warning, you make sure you get inside, guys. These storms are going to pack a punch. As you can see with the storm fuel we have in place right now as of lunch, good amount of storm fuel across the area. You look out towards the west, it's even better. So it's going to gradually continue to get better throughout the afternoon hours as the front of Belgium moves southeast. So make sure you get under severe thunderstorm warning. You are taking those precautions, okay? I don't want anyone ignoring this because this is not a moderate or high risk for tornadoes. The tornado threat is there, but I think the damaging wind and hail threat is going to be the majority of these storms. Speaking of these storms, let's take a look at southeastern Arkansas at this current time. You've got a good amount of storms we've had this morning, several severe thunderstorm warnings producing hail and damaging winds. Now we have a flash flood warning in place across Ashley and Chico counties here. It's going to go until 2 o'clock. Good amount of rainfall down there. If you're in that area, Lone 82, make sure if you come across a flooded roadway that you're turning around and do not drown at this point. Okay, We've got some other cells that are trying to develop near central Arkansas. None of this activity right now is severe. It's going to produce some heavy rainfall at times. Uh, you may hear some lightning from time to time. Matter of fact, we can turn on our lightning at this point. We've got a few lightning strikes trying to pop up uh, with these cells trying to develop. But what we're waiting on is this right in here. There's your cold front back out here towards the west. That is what we're waiting on. That's going to move southeast as we move into the afternoon and into the evening hours tonight here. Okay, So just kind of keep that in mind at this point. Now, let's break down the risk. Let's talk about it. So pretty much from right now all the way to 11 o'clock tonight, that's going to be your timing across the board. The entire state is under the level 2 slight risk or what we call the likely zone for strong to isolated severe thunderstorms. We do have a level three up there in northeastern Arkansas, which has prompted the severe weather alert day. At this point, that means strong to severe thunderstorms are likely within that area. Well, very likely within that area up there in northeastern Arkansas. So just keep that in mind. The latest update just pretty much put the entire state, except for northeastern Arkansas, uh, within that level two zone here. Okay, so let's talk about the timing. Okay, so we've got round one. Round one is going on right now. But round two is going to be very important for the majority of the area, okay? So, northwestern Arkansas, Rogers, Fayetteville, Fort Smith, Harrison, 2 p.m. to 6 o'clock this evening. That's going to be your timing. Then the majority, Dequeen, Little Rock, Hot Springs, Cabot, Conway, Searcy, the Wynn area, Jonesboro, Blytheville, from 4 p.m. to 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to adjust this timing map as needed once we get better data in. But right now, 4 p.m. till 10 looks to be the best time frame for the area. And then down there in southeastern Arkansas, this is going to be very, very questionable if we can get storms to actually make it that far southeast. Guidance has been back and forth all morning. It hasn't handled things well. Um, so right now, we've got you guys, if storms make it, right around 7 to 11 um, this evening here. 
I want to stress this right now. This is going to be hit and miss storms. This is not going to be a widespread event where every single person in Arkansas sees severe weather. This is going to be an event that some people will and some people won't. So please keep that in mind. Yes, there's a risk for severe weather. Are you going to see severe weather? Not everyone's going to see it, but some people will. So keep that in mind. If you do experience severe weather, um, you are going to have the risk for 60 to 70 mile per hour winds, significant hail, and also the potential of an isolated tornado too. This is the tornado risk. It's possible for pretty much the entire state except for far southeastern Arkansas at this point. Let me make this perfectly clear. This is not going to be a tornado outbreak. I don't want anyone on this page calling us out saying that this is going to be a tornado outbreak. It's not. The conditions and the environment is not capable of producing a tornado outbreak, but you could get an isolated tornado too, depending on if you can get a cell to kind of break up or you get a cell to develop along the line, what we call the kill CS type tornadoes, those little brief, sprint, those little brief spin ups. That's what we're going to be looking for for today. This is not going to be a tornado outbreak by any stretch of the matter. So I want to make that clear. But the majority of the area is within that possible zone. So please keep that in mind as we get into this afternoon into this evening. I'm more concerned about the hail and the damaging wind threat. I get it. I know when everyone hears severe weather, they, I mean, it's almost immediate to tornadoes. No. Severe weather needs to be prioritize for damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes, and flooding, and lightning. We don't do just tornadoes here, guys. It's 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 all all those little those risk areas within that severe weather umbrella. That's what we do here, okay? So the hail threat, as you can see from Mina to Jasper to Mount Home over to Fayetteville, Fort Smith to Waldron, that area is hatched for the potential of seeing two inch in diameter hail or greater. The majority of the area means that we're gonna have the potential of severe hail, um, which is one inch in diameter or greater uh, later this afternoon, this evening with any storms that get going and water become severe. This is the damage you went threat as well. Pretty much likely across the area, very likely up there in northeastern Arkansas, which has warranted that SWAT day, uh, the level three up there in northeastern Arkansas um, as we move into the night. So. Keep that in mind at this point. I'm going to break this down so everyone gets what our severe threat risk areas look like. Right now, as it stands, we are at a level 2. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. We're at level 2 for the majority of the area. We have northeastern Arkansas, far northeastern Arkansas in the level 3, which is going to be your very likely zone, which is equivalent to the enhanced risk. So we are within severe weather alert day for our folks up there in northeastern Arkansas. Keep that in mind, okay? We're not doing any hyping. We're not doing, you know, we're not raising all kinds of panic or anything like that. We're not doing that. We're just giving you guys an awareness of what to expect as we get into this afternoon and into this evening here, okay? So one last look at radar. This is what we've got at this point. Nothing concerning in central or in eastern Arkansas or anything like that. All the activity right now as it stands is down there in far southeastern Arkansas, Union, Ashley, and Chico counties. Even um, Deshaies and Drew counties are starting to get in on the action. None of that activity is severe. However, I am concerned about flooding because these storms are trending over the same area. Um, and also, these storms are going to be very, very loud. And you can see with the lightning down there as well. So if you're outdoors, bring that activity inside. Um, like I said, for our attention, as we move into the, later in the afternoon and evening, it's going to go for our folks up there in northwestern Arkansas. And then we're going to progress throughout the rest of the state here at this point. So continue to keep you guys updated right here in your source for all things Arkansas weather.